Hello and welcome to another online support tutorial produced by ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists. This is the first part of the fourth video on materials and methods. In video one, we helped you identify the most appropriate category for your project. In video two, we helped you identify and resolve potential ethics violations. In video three, we helped you to identify variables in scientific investigation type experiments. In this video, we will introduce you to the different materials and methods that you could use. Before we get into the materials and method, you must firstly determine whether your research will be a qualitative study or a quantitative study, or even a mixed method study. Quantitative research deals with numbers and statistics, allowing you to test a hypothesis by systematically collecting and analyzing data. Qualitative research deals with words and meanings, allowing you to explore ideas and experiences in depth. Qualitative research is generally about words and meanings. It involves observing and interpreting behavior or what participants say or do. The data are usually collected through observations and surveys using questionnaires. This is usually followed by interviews where you can delve deeper into the topic and understand your participants better. The sample size may be small, like one person, or large, such as surveys. The results are captured as descriptions, quotes, or descriptive examples. When analyzing the data collected, identify themes and patterns. Social sciences projects generally involve qualitative research. Social sciences projects include studies in anthropology, education studies, human behavior, human settlements, and psychology. Quantitative research typically involves experiments, testing a theory, or designing and building. Variables are often used when it is a cause and effect study. Experiments should be repeated at least three times. When analyzing your data, focus on statistical analysis or compare numerical data. Look for patterns and trends. The results are usually represented in tables, graphs, and diagrams. For engineering type projects, more than two prototypes must be built and tested. All Expo categories can involve quantitative studies. After deciding on the methodology, you need to think about the what, where, and how the data will be collected. What methods will be used? Where will the research be conducted? And how will the data be collected? Let's start with the what questions. What methods will you use? Will you use a new method, an existing method, or will you modify an existing method? What is your sample size? What materials will you use? What data will be collected? What costs are involved in doing this research? For example, what is the cost of your materials? And then what skills are needed to conduct this research? Will you, for example, need a 3D printing machine? Or will you need help from a specialist? What other assistance could you need? For example, transport or using software or coding. Who could assist you with this? Now let's consider the where question. Where will the research be conducted? For example, a school lab, at home, a specialist research laboratory, or will it be conducted at a nature reserve? Who is your contact person? Are there any persons to be contacted at the research site? Does the research need to be done in a regulated research institute? And will permission be needed to conduct the research? If yes, from whom? And how will you get this permission? Next, let's look at the how questions. When it comes to collecting data, how will you collect the data? Will it involve experiments or designing and building prototypes? Or observing people or interviews? Or even sending out questionnaires? How will you get consent if your research involves minors? How will you ensure confidentiality of data? Next, the amount of data. How much data will you collect? How many interviews or questionnaires 
will you need? How will you, will you ensure that accurate data are collected? How many prototypes will you build? And how will you plan, design, build and test the prototypes? When it comes to duration, how long will the research take? How many times will you repeat the experiments? How will you record the data? How will you analyze this data? Do you need software to do this? And lastly, how will you select your sample? And why will you select it this way? Will the sample or tests be sufficient for you to make conclusions from? And how can you reduce the cost of your research? In summary, what? What is the research about? Will it involve experiments or designing and building prototypes or observing people, interviews or questionnaires? Why? Why are you doing this research? What is the significance of your research and who will it benefit? How will your research be conducted and how will you collect your data? Where is the research going to be conducted? And how will you ensure the safety of yourself and all participants? Lastly, please remember to not use brand names. We hope that this video has helped you to understand the what, the where, the how and the why of your research. In our next video, we will use specific examples to illustrate the different methods.